Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. Now, first things first, I hope you're all having an amazing holiday season. There are a lot of things brewing over at Lucasfilm and Disney for the future of the Star Wars universe, and exactly what, of course, Bob Chapek and the higher-ups over at Disney are beginning to plan, and what they are currently doing that's causing quite a bit of trouble for Kathleen Kennedy behind closed doors. Let's go over it. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing that a lot of fans have been very skeptical over are two TV shows, Skeleton Crew and The Acolyte. So let's just make things clear for those of you that don't know. Those two shows are under Kathleen Kennedy's control 100% until most recently where Favreau and Filoni came on board to actually fix and handle some scenes. So they're not fixing the entirety of both shows, but they're fixing some scenes here and there to prevent this show or shows from being a complete nightmare, so to speak, right? However, it doesn't really stop there and it gets more complicated than that because now it's involving George Lucas and exactly why Kathleen Kennedy is having a big meltdown behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm and a lot of problems with George Lucas actually making the calls and decisions on some of the changes for both TV shows. So let's dive right into all of this. Now, we already know that Bob Iger is in a panic mode right now. He's in an act of desperation, trying to really cater to the fans, like how Bob Chapek was trying to do before he was fired, and Iger's just really trying to create a legacy for himself now, just like Chapek was trying to do before he was let go. However, given that both Disney and Lucasfilm are getting ready to announce many of their upcoming projects, however, as of late, Disney has been creating a plan to fire Kathleen Kennedy from Lucasfilm, and that Disney CEO Bob Iger has a concrete strategy to get her out by August of next year. Now, on top of this, it's noted that behind the scenes, Kennedy is having a very hard time with creator George Lucas now coming on set of the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, since Favreau and Filoni are beginning to fix elements of both shows, however not entirely. Kathleen Kennedy has been demanding Disney to take George off the set of both Star Wars shows and is having a what's described to be a very deep struggle focusing with George on set of these two installments. Disney is not taking Kennedy's demands of taking George off and is causing more drama behind the scenes for the skeleton crew members especially. So let me just pause here quick for a second. Now, there you have it, Kathleen Kennedy demanding Disney to boot George Lucas off the set of both Skeleton Crew and The Acolyte. Now, obviously, this just goes to show you that she has no care in the world for this man. She never did. And obviously, he's interfering with her agenda because what George is doing, and I thank Disney for allowing them to do this, what George is doing is that he is the one really making the decisions on which scenes need to be fixed, you know, which scenes need to be patched up, that actually broke a lot of canon, and that is, by the way, a big problem with Skeleton Crew and the Acolyte even worse, is that there's a lot of canon-breaking moments in both of those shows that a lot of fans would have had a big problem with, and they want to prevent that. This is why you're not really seeing too much about the development of the Acolyte and Skeleton Crew because there's so many reshoots, there has been so many different rewrites, so many revisions to the scenes that did involve actually, you know, uh, a lot of changes on command, uh, you know, a lot of improv, so to speak. Now, with that being said and all, Kennedy is having a big problem with George on the set of both Acolyte and Skeleton Crew for various reasons. Now, a lot of reasons have to do with the fact that they are undoing some, not all, but some of Kathleen Kennedy's retcons toward the prequel trilogy using the Acolyte and retcons toward characters like Luke and Ahsoka Tano in the Skeleton Crew series. So we're going to be diving into more specifics about that and what's up with that whole entire scenario. We already know that Ahsoka Tano is back in action for Skeleton Crew, all thanks to John and Dave. That was a last minute decision, as well as incorporating a place called the New Beyond. We're not quite sure what the New Beyond is just yet, 
It is said to be either A, a new region in the galaxy, or B, a new galaxy entirely. We're not quite sure either or, but we will be finding out more about that in the coming months. So, moving on, George is actually said to be advising and making some decisions of these two shows to fix certain scenes of canon breaking moments that Kennedy calls and she is not happy about any of this at all. Now these canon breaking moments are said to involve characters like Luke Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano and Lucas and Favreau are patching those scenes which is going to cause a delay in the release date for Skeleton Crew. As for the Acolyte, George is trying to get Disney to approve erasing some of the Old Republic flashback scenes, as they are not true in nature of what fans grew up with, and wants them replaced with something more valuable for fans. This too would cause more reshoots, and Kennedy is having a very frustrating time dealing with all of this. So, once again, I don't know if you guys knew about this, but the Acolyte is going to have Old Republic flashbacks and holograms. As for the flashbacks, there were quite a number of them that Kathleen Kennedy mishandled, and it did not match up with some of the characters that a lot of fans know and love. And George realized that this was going to actually anger a lot of fans, and made the ultimate call, or should I say, made the ultimate demand to the Disney higher-ups to give him authority to decide which ones need to be deleted out, and which ones could remain as is. Because it's not all of them that are flawed, it's just quite a number of them that are flawed. And once again, Kathleen Kennedy, you, you really can't trust her when it comes to, especially the Old Republic. She doesn't really know that lore. You know, she doesn't really know exactly what's going on. And we have, of course, Leslie Headland working on that show mo mainly. But she herself even admitted that she's not a Star Wars fan, she never watched the prequel trilogies from start to finish, those films, and it just goes to show you that she kind of like is another Joby Harold. Joby Harold, the writer of the Kenobi series, openly stated that he never watched Revenge of the Sith from start to finish. And it just goes to show you what kind of creators or writers, whatever have you, Kathleen Kennedy hires for her projects. And it just really, you know, worries me, it worries a lot of people out there how this show in the end is going to turn out, regardless of George, John, and Dave helping out with some scenes, not all, but some. I think that what you're going to get is you're going to have a mixture of tones. You're going to be watching these shows and it's going to be having, you know, it's good moments and it's going to be having its really bad moments. And you're going to be able to see what was actually implemented by... Favreau, Filoni, and Lucas, and what was implemented by Leslie, John Watts, and Kathleen Kennedy. So overall, guys, this is a constant tug-of-war scenario, and it's why we still don't have a concrete release date on both Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. So anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say about all this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.